Asus TUF F15 had been phenomenal this last few years and continue to dominate the laptop market. Just right out of the box, you don't have to do anything. But what if I told you that you can actually turn this gaming laptop into a beast? Sounds interesting, right? So let's go straight to the point and ask the question. How to turn your Asus TUF F15 into a beast? You know what? Let's call this Asus Beast F15. The first step that you need to do is you have to limit processing state. Go to control panel, system and security, power options, choose your desired power plan, change advanced power setting, and on the processor state management, change the minimum and maximum processing state. In my case, I've set my maximum processing state to 99%. This limits the processor to work up to its full potential, which means this drastically improves the thermals of this gaming laptop and will also avoid problems such as overheating and system overload. The CPU temperature will also be more stable that will eventually result to consistent performance throughout your usage. Of course, on battery mode, it's up to you how much minimum and maximum processing state you want. Because we all have different situations like there are some users who are students who wants to preserve more battery life rather than performance. The next step to turn this laptop into a beast is setting up profile. I suggest this to users who often use both battery and plug-in mode. This will definitely save your time and improve your life quality using your laptop. So for the first phase, go to Armory Create, Profiles, Create New Profile and it's up to you. But I advise you to think of the future situations that you will be using your laptop. Example, setting up profile for playing Valorant on plug-in mode. Obviously, you have to put both operating modes to performance and turbo. The RGB lighting effect should be on 100% because it increases FPS. Yeah, for the game visual, there's already a preset here dedicated to FPS, so I would suggest you to use that. Other settings are optional, it's really up to you. So this profile switching will save you additional clicks instead of manually adjusting it every time. The second phase of this adjustment is NVIDIA GeForce Experience Profile Gaming Optimization. To perform this, first you need to open NVIDIA GeForce Experience. If you don't have it yet, you're gonna have to download it first. Go to Home, select your game. As you can see here, you already have optimization settings both for plug-in and battery mode. You can just simply click Optimize. The advantage of that is the NVIDIA GeForce Experience itself adjusts your game settings based on your system specs that balances around performance and quality. This is good for new Asus Stuff F15 owners or any laptop owners out there that has no idea on how their laptops perform on games. Don't worry, every time you adjust settings inside the game, it reflects back to your preset settings on NVIDIA GeForce Experience. The most obvious way to bring out the beast inside this Asus Stuff F15 is upgrading RAM and storage. I want to stress this out, 8GB of RAM and 512GB of storage as minimum base stock model is fine. It still gives out the performance that you paid for, but here's the thing. I'm assuming that you've bought Asus TUF A15 with the intention of using it as your main device. If that's the case, you really have to upgrade both RAM and storage to fully maximize the performance. Again, 8GB of RAM is not a problem, but it could hold back your system performance even if you don't have any other issues. I do understand that some people are on budget but I strongly suggest you whether it's Asus TUF A15 or other laptops, 16GB of RAM is the best minimal option. Just the same as the storage, 512GB might be okay for now but eventually your files and media will stock up and this could really slow down the whole system of your laptop and worst case scenario, you're gonna have to delete files time to time just to maintain a healthy space of storage. In terms of GPU, one of the best ways to beast out your Asus TUF F15 is setting up discrete GPU on applications and softwares. It's just a basic thing to do, yet it has a major obvious effect on performance. First thing you need to do, go to settings, display, graphics, and choose your desired display settings on each application. To avoid confusion, you have two choices, iGPU or integrated graphics of your laptop, and DGPU or dedicated graphics card. Basically, based on my laptop specs, it's Intel UHD graphics and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050. This is a underrated setting because large amount of users are complaining about low performance on their laptops, not knowing that their graphics settings is not optimized. Example, others might be alarmed that their games are running on low FPS, low details with lags and stutters without knowing that the particular application or software or game is only using the Intel UHD graphics instead of their Nvidia RTX graphics card. This happens all the time and users are learning it on the hard way. Speaking about the thermals, performance, and being energy efficient, you can undervolt your laptop. 
Personally, I don't do this, but if you really want to squeeze out performance such as FPS, there's a lot of guides out there. My Asus TUF F15 is 24 gigs of RAM and 1.5 terabyte of storage, and I've been using it already for one year. There's really no performance or thermal issues, that's why undervolting is not an option for me. But the simplest way to increase performance on all aspects and with just one click is turning on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Go to settings, system, display, graphics, change default graphics settings, and simply turn on the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Some benefits that you can get by turning it on is increase on performance, especially for multitasking. It will also improve responsiveness and reduce CPU load as GPU will actively work with the CPU and also reduce power consumption that can really help improve battery life for minimal amount. And as for the last tip, which involves airflow, heat, and space, you have to get a laptop cooler and stand. I do really want to stress this out again, just like about the upgrading stuff, because let alone the elevated position of a laptop could improve your performance for a noticeable amount. Not just that, with additional cooling system like this, the performance of your laptop will definitely improve as thermals would be more consistent and avoid temperature-based errors and issues. Based on my test, the first time that I had my Asus TUF F15, there's no escape to a welcoming temperature problem. From around 90 degrees Celsius spiking to 95 while gaming on a base flat table, that's frustrating. But as soon as I had my laptop cooler and elevation stand, it dropped down to 88 degrees Celsius without any series of system adjustments. Obviously, this topic has been already ongoing for many years that these kind of accessories are must-have items. Not just about the reason of taking care of your laptop, but to actually increase and stabilize performance and again for the long term. That's definitely a win and exchange of money for your tech body. So with these 8 ways that you can do to your ASUS TUF F15, you can definitely bring out the beast sleeping and hiding inside this powerful laptop and turn it into a ASUS Beast F15. To be clear, there's still a lot of tips, tricks, other ways, features, additional options, downloadable softwares, system adjustments, and enabled settings that can be used to really optimize, improve, and enhance this ASUS stuff F15 or any other laptops out there. Whether it's about increasing battery life, achieving peak performance such as max FPS, color accuracy, preserving overalls of your laptop, or any kind of improvement that you want, there's an ocean of solution out there that can really help you with your specific issues or adjustment that you need and this video is one of them so that's it hopefully this guide helped you in some way so if you find this video helpful or you've enjoyed it show some support by subscribing to the channel and dropping a like on this video you can also follow me on instagram if you want and if you have any questions feel free to comment down below i will try to answer all of them and help out as soon as possible again hermes here thanks for watching and catch you guys on the next one